airport workers angry. They've been pushing to increase their minimum wage to $15 an hour. And today they learn they will have to keep fighting for a bit longer. News 6's Jerry Askin is live at the Orlando International Airport with more on the airport board meeting that just wrapped up. Jerry. Yeah, Julie, yes, it wrapped up here about 30 minutes ago, and the airport authority today recommending to defer action when it comes to that $15 an hour wage just to one to see um, how voters will vote this year in November because it's already on the ballot, they say. Here's some video from inside the meeting that happened today. Uh, more than two dozen or so contracted airport employees were at today's GOA meeting. Uh, they wore purple shirts, hoping their board would actually see and hear their concerns about what they call the need for higher wages. This coming after the Workers' Labor Union met with airport Airport officials back in 2018 and gave them a study with data collected by 200 airport employees saying that almost 80 percent of workers make less than $20,000 per year. Now Goa did its own study and today decided to defer action to March for Goa employees who make under 15 bucks an hour and they're waiting until November for contracted employees all because they say voters here in Florida will have to decide anyway in November to raise the state minimum wage from $8.46 to 50, 15 bucks an hour. Okay. How much do you make now? I make 12 21 an hour. But for me, it's not enough because 12 21 an hour without benefits and the cost of living in Orlando is going up. Yeah, many airport workers say they're really hoping for this raise. They got a ray of hope after Disney recently approved its employees to make 15 bucks an hour recently. Now, coming up here all new at 6, we're getting new reaction from Goa um, officials. I'm working that story in the next hour and a half. For now, we're live at OIA. I'm Jerry Askin, getting results, new 6. Jerry, thank you.